Good Sunday evening, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. It was gorgeous, sunny, and hot here all weekend. And yesterday we went up and spent the day um, with my ex-husband and his wife at their house on the lake, Georgian, Georgian Bay. And uh, my oldest daughter and her husband and the kids came up, Emma and Tristan. And we had a, a really fun time. Gavin and Walt went out fishing. They went out fishing. <laughs> Nothing came back, but they went out fishing. Um, but they had fun. They had fun. We swam in the lake. It was great. And today was just a relaxing day here at home. So it was nice. Yesterday was Finn's birthday party. Um, he had... The kids all went to it in the morning, and he had a nice third birthday, which we celebrated on Father's Day with him and his little brother, Mac, because he turned one in June. So, okay, so I'm going to do, tonight we are going to do a, um, one of my large cutting boards and matching coaster sets. And I'm doing this because I'm trying out two new colors. So tonight we're going to use my, um, which is not new, my Elephant Gray. Well, it's new this last month. We're using my Elephant Gray. But the two new colors we're going to use are Color Passions Turquoise. These are both a powder. This is, look at that, isn't that pretty? But wait till you see this. This is Color, Cha uh, Color Passions Blue Changing Sparkle. Now, I'm hoping, can you see that? Look at that. Can you see that? That is just friggin' gorgeous. And, of course, because it's blue, I friggin' love it. But that is just gorgeous. Oh, Mr. Strachan's out there watering plants. And we are using, oh, and I didn't stir it. We are using Color Passions Rich Gold, which is a powder as well. And it looks like that. So that's what these are the colors we are using tonight. So this is going to be um, a cutting board and some matching coasters. So let's get started, guys. Let's move this out of the way. Let's, everything's out of the way. Let's bring you on down and we will get started. So here is the board. Can you see the handle as well? And there are the coasters and I'm only going to do four. I'm not going to use this little one. So I'm going to start with the gray. And I'm going to pour it. Okay, so let me also explain something, guys. My wood that my wood guy does for me always has such awesome edges that it, it holds the paint, the resin. It holds the resin. So I don't worry about my edges from my wood guy. But these cutting boards that I got a while back from a Canadian company uh, that I bought wholesale, as much as I love them, they do not hold the resin on the edges. And I was finding that I'd have to come back down and, you know, keep until it was too hard to work with keep trying to put some on the sides. So what I decided to do was spray paint this first so that if it doesn't stick to the sides, and I'm hoping because of the spray paint it will, but if it doesn't, the gray spray paint that I used will be good enough that it looks very similar to the resin that I've poured, but we will see how this goes. So 
There we go. I've done the gray, which to me almost looks, once it's mixed, it looks like almost like a brown, but it is a gray, elephant gray. So I've got that. Now I'm going to take my turquoise and I'm going to pour it down here. Okay, so it is going to be most of the base. I gotta get rid of some of this. I want to cover that up down there. What is that? I want a hunk from inside my cup that I didn't get out. I'll clean that up with some alcohol. Not worried about it. So now I'm going to take some of this white blue sparkle. It's so pretty. And I'm going to just bring it in lines up the top. That is pretty. Really pretty. And now I'm going to take my gold. And I'm going to bring the gold in any which way. And what I will do is heat this with the torch. I don't want to blow it around. I just want to heat it. See if it moves my gold. Not very much, but that's okay. But not only you see what's happening though is the blue is just the blue in this um, blue sparkle, blue changing sparkle looks white, but now you can see it's all blue sparkle. That is so cool. But I need a little bit here. So it goes down that side. Maybe a little bit more right there. And I think I'm going to leave just this just the way it is. Because what I'm going to do after this sets up a bit more. Because I'll do a clear coat over it. I'm going to put these pretty butterflies in here and on these so okay so let's come over here to the molds and we see the molds yeah and what I'm going to do is try to do this like this Half and half. Half and half. Half and half. And half and half. Okay, now I'm going to take the white and I'm going to, well, I call it white, but it's the blue sparkle, guys, sorry. 
I'm going to sparkle it up. This is so pretty. I really like this. This is lovely. I'm gonna use what's left over for in uh, my shell molds. That would look so pretty. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of gold. And it's so pretty. So now I'm gonna heat them a little tiny bit. Oh, that joins, so I don't even have to fix that up. Ah. And like I said, when these set up a bit in a few, in an hour, I will come down and I will put my butterflies where I want. And then tomorrow, because I left enough space, tomorrow I will come down and put, um, those butterflies, or I mean, I will come down in an hour and put the butterflies on, then tomorrow I'll come down and do a clear coat. Sorry, was thinking while I was talking. There we go. And I love the way the gold does that. See how it's breaking up those alone and really pops like a, um, just pops that gold out and it looks like uh, molten, molten gold, you know? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love that sparkle changing blue, changing blue. That is just beautiful. Wait till you see it tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Here, it almost looks like it's gone, it sunk to the bottom. We'll see if it has, but left a space. So it looks like the gray, it looks like the sparkle blue is underneath the gray. But here, it looks like the sparkle blue is sitting on top of the gray. I'll bring you down and show you, just in case it doesn't look like this tomorrow. I'll put these over here to go into my molds. And I will bring you down and show you. Oh, well, that was good. Thank God you landed on the back. Because, yep, you just landed in my resin. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, Turn you around again. Can I? No, I'll do it this way. Okay, so there we go. Now I've got to fix this up and I'll just do that with, um, I'll do that with this. It'll just move it. But that's where my phone just fell in on top. See, we do make mistakes, guys. We definitely do make mistakes. So I'm one of them. I make them often, okay? So, but you can easily correct stuff that happens. It's no big deal, right? didn't ruin my camera so that's a good thing but there you go look at this see how it looks like it can you see that it looks like it's underneath the brown it looks really cool but here it definitely is sitting on top okay so i'm going